Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright here. Find out which state governor received EIDL funding from the SBA for hurricane relief. Great news for them, how the portal's open right now for EIDL, how you can watch a free webinar for answers to questions outlining the forgiveness process for PPP loans, as well as the, dis the biggest disaster today was what happened to Wall Street, what happened to my portfolio, and what's going on after this. For the best news and information on how to master and dominate and crush your money, business and life, stay tuned to this channel. Also, we're almost at 80,000 subscribers. When we get to 80,000 subscribers, one of the random comments here, we're going to pick and give $800 from my bank account to your account, one of the random, random subscribers that comments and likes the video. So please, like the video, do it for the algorithm too, but also by just putting any comment, whatever, it doesn't matter, a number, whatever you feel like it, in the comments, we're going to pick it randomly, so everyone's got a chance to win. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Grab your two free stocks down below with Weeble. You can open up an account. Second one could be valued at up to $1,400. So check it out. It's awesome. But first, Texas Governor Greg Abbott recently announced that his state has received an economic injury disaster loan and an economic injury, yes, disaster declaration to provide relief for Hurricane Hannah. Yes, we got Laura, we got Marco, we got the earthquake. According to press releases from the governor, these programs aim to offer long-term low-interest loans to qualifying businesses and communities, which is awesome. These loans have helped so much across the country and thousands and thousands, millions of businesses. Governor Abbott explained, quote, Texas, thank the U.S. Business Administration providing this financial lifeline to qualified small businesses in Rio Grande Valley as the, they continue to rebuild from Hurricane Hannah. Boy, she wreaks havoc, I suppose. If you live in Texas or Louisiana, as we've talked about yesterday, visit the link down below, disasterreliefloanassistance.sba.gov, to see if you qualify for these vital disaster relief funds. Meanwhile, BBVA, a bank, has provided PPP claims, uh, claims with a free resource that can answer your questions regarding the forgiveness of your SBA disaster relief loan. Now, a lot of people have gotten emails saying that, hey, don't worry about it for a while because we haven't set up our process yet. A lot of banks are doing that. They're sending out emails saying we're not set up to actually forgive your loan yet, so just hang tight. Also, a lot of people have said, hey, wait for the next stimulus package as they may forgive loans less than $150,000 across the board so we don't have to deal with it through the, through the banks. I think a lot of banks are crossing fingers for that one. Me too. I hope they can eliminate that. And of course, one of the hangups is all the fraud that was there and that, those price, those numbers, the lower numbers. So maybe they'll have the not so low numbers, but the mid range numbers, maybe they'll cover those. With details regarding the forgiveness requirements for the PPP loans changing just by the day, this helpful and free webinar holds a clear, that helps to clear and be concise about the confusion, how to get the PPP loan fully forgiven. Link down below as far as you know going through the webinar. Network executive Elizabeth Dauber stated, and I quote, the webinar walks small business owners through the entire process and is an invaluable resource if you're, if you're looking to try and figure it out. I've checked it out because we know there's still a lot of confusion right now. People think they need to start making those first payments in October, right? The six months, because there was a deferral for the first six months um, so people are thinking that they've got to go ahead and make a payment. He continued, quote, while there's still more time to obtain loan forgiveness, the key here to, is to gather all your documents needed to prove how the money was used. 60% of the loan has to be used for payroll. 
and the other 40% can be used for other business-related matters like mortgage payments, the interest part, and also rent and utilities. Great, great program. Finally, we're talking a lot about disaster relief today, but the biggest disaster may have happened in New York on Wall Street. Basically, Wall Street is everywhere now. The Dow plummeted 807.77 points and or 2.8% to close the day at 28,292.73. Meanwhile, the S&P 500 dropped 3.5% to finish Thursday at $3,455.06 and the Nasdaq slipped by 5% to close out of the, oh God, at 11,458. Yes, 5%. Big. Well, big tech stocks are suffering massive losses for the first time in weeks, maybe months. Apple shares dropped 8%. I was watching it when it got down to 7. Microsoft lost 6.2%, owned both of those. Amazon and Netflix were both down more than 4%. And Facebook dipped 3.8% on especially this bloody Thursday. I wonder, is Jeff Bezos still worth like 200, 200 billion? Not sure. Financial analyst Adam Cressfilly explained, for te- quote, for tech specific, the stocks are seeing large percentage declines. But this comes after a massive recent rally, which we've seen and I've been talking about. Tech has been untethered from fundamentals for a while, and momentum can work in both directions. If you look at the VIX, you'd be like the VIX was off the charts. You know, that's the volatility index that people buy when they're buying insurance and nervous about the stocks. Well, it's through the roof. Hopefully, these stocks can bounce back tomorrow. I hope so. To end the week in a higher note, because tomorrow's Friday. But with so much craziness going on in the world right now, I'm not holding my breath. It is just crazy. I hope you found this uh, video entertaining and informative. Please stay safe out there, this crazy virus. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care. Remember, if you haven't liked the video yet, please like the video. And also put a comment so that you can be put in to the random $800 that we're giving away when we hit $80,000, which we're super close to. Take care. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Love you guys.